Okay, so today uh, we will be discussing uh, literary genres uh, in the English literature. We'll start with this chart uh, and we'll discuss this chart. Uh, then we'll go to the table, discuss its genre, and then uh, we'll go back to the tasks uh, and uh, uh, we'll fill in the gaps. Okay, here. Anya, start please uh, and tell me about the main genres. Uh, there are five uh, main genres in uh, English literature. There are fiction, drama, non-fiction, folklore, and poetry. Good, huh? Natalia. Uh, tell about fiction. As the genre of fiction is divided um, in uh, such uh, sub-genres um, uh, as realistic fiction, historical fiction, uh, science fiction, um, and fantasy. Good, huh? Anya, drama. Mm -hmm. uh, drama is divided into two subgenres: comedy and tragedy. Okay, how do how how do we understand what is the difference between fiction and drama? Mm -hmm. Drama is based on dialogues only. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So in drama, there are only dialogues and monologues. There is no description no description of the events. We understand events only through the monologues and dialogues. Good, huh? Natalia, non-fiction. Non-fiction has such uh, subgenres as uh, informational writing, uh, persuasive writing, biography, and autobiography. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. and folklore, uh, please. <coughs> Uh, the genre uh, folklore has such uh, subgenres: uh, fairy tale, legend, telltale, myth, and fable. Yeah. So, and uh, what is another name for folklore? Uh, traditional literature. Traditional yeah. literature. Very good. Uh, so, traditional literature. Yeah. So, we'll stop here now, and uh, we'll uh, look at the bigger table, uh, which represents um, the subgenres, the genres, and the elements of each genre. Natalia, what are the elements of each genre? The elements of each genre are theme, characters, setting, and special details. So let's characterize each of the genres uh, according to the example. Now I will tell you how to do it uh, and uh, then uh, you will do next uh, steps. For example, realistic fiction is a subgenre of fiction that is about real life events. The characters in realistic fiction are people that could exist Realistic fiction is set anywhere, and uh, uh, the special detail of realistic fiction is uh, that it could be true, but it is not. Mm -hmm. So we go through all uh, the categories, uh, and uh, we also remember what is the main genre is. And please do historical fiction. Uh, the theme of historical fiction may be about events from the past. Okay. Uh, the characters of historical fiction are people from the past. Uh, uh, historical fiction is set uh, histor in historical places. And special details of these uh, genres uh, uh, may be uh, his historical details. Yeah, so if it is a story about, uh, uh, let's say, uh, Robin Good is not a historical fiction, but if it's a story about uh, the times of uh, Queen Victoria, yeah, there will be Queen Victoria, but she won't be the main character of the story. Good, huh? thank you. Natalia, science fiction. Um, uh, uh, the theme of uh, science fiction is uh, meeting unknown forces. The characters are aliens and robots. Uh, certain um, is uh, distant places and uh, spaceships, and special details uh, are uh, in, in technology. Very good. Uh, mm -hmm. Not, uh, Anya, sorry, fantasy, please. Mm -hmm. The theme of uh, fantasy are uh, magic forces, 
The characters of these genres are monsters, uh, wizards, fantastic creatures. Uh, fantasy is uh, said an unreal, wor unreal worlds and special details of these genres, maybe magic uh, superpowers. Yeah, so, and uh, now let's compare science fiction to fantasy. Why science fiction is not fantasy? What is the difference between science fiction and fantasy? Natalia. Mm -hmm. As, uh, one of the main um, uh, differences is that uh, the special detail of uh, science fiction is technology, uh -huh. uh, but um, uh, fantasy um, is based uh, on uh, magic uh, superpowers. Very good. So uh, in fantasy, uh, we have magic, while in uh, science fiction, uh, we have technological innovations. Yeah? That is why it is connected with science. Yeah, thank you. So next big group, uh, which uh, in the previous uh, scheme was uh, in the end, uh, but here we put it just after the fiction uh, because it uh, gave rise to the fiction. It was at the beginning, it was before the fiction and it is called uh, folklore. Natalia, what is the other name for folklore? Uh, the other name is traditional literature. Yeah, the other name is traditional literature. Mm -hmm. I start with the fairy tales. Mm -hmm. uh, the same of fairy tales are about good against uh, bad. The characters are magic characters, royal characters, and uh, talking animals. Uh, uh, so setting is uh, anywhere, and special details of fairy tales are magic. Beginning uh, once upon a time, uh, ending, and they lived happily uh, ever after. Yeah, so there are usually uh, what is uh, the most well known story of uh, a fairy tale? What is the most well known fairy tale? It's about, uh, mm -hmm, there are a couple of them, but uh, the one that is that exists. Uh, in many different nations, in many different cultures. Mm -hmm. Cinderella. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So Cinderella or Zolushka is uh, the most well-known fairy tale. Uh, what do we have in Cinderella? We have all the elements. Uh, we have uh, magic characters. Uh, uh, the queen, the prince, uh, we have, uh, oh, sorry, the magic character is the fairy. Then we have royal characters, uh, the queen and the prince. Uh, we have talking animals. Uh, mice talk to Cinderella and uh, like everyone talks to Cinderella. We don't know the place. Uh, it's somewhere. Uh, and uh, usually there will be the beginning once upon a time, and they will live happily ever after. What are other elements of fairy tales uh, that uh, are also well known? They are called uh, Magic 3 and Magic 7. Uh, usually there will be three helpers, uh, three tries, uh, um, or there will be seven dwarfs, uh, seven like, seven characters. Uh, yeah? So with Cinderella, there were three sisters uh, or with mother, there were three evil characters. Uh, so fairy tales usually have these numbers, three or seven. Okay, yeah? good. Uh, mm -hmm. Natalia, miss. The theme of miss is uh, natural. And uh, the it's a three, but it's natural elements or natural disasters. Natural. I just lost it here. Yeah, natural disasters. Natural elements. Mm -hmm. and character, the characters are uh, supernatural with uh, extraordinary powers. Uh, the setting is anywhere and uh, there are no special details. Okay, give me an example of a mess. What do we usually explain in a mess? Mm. The origin of uh, Earth, of world, for example. Absolutely. The origin of Earth, the origin of the river, the origin of the forest, the origin of the mountain, 
there are lots of myths uh, that are connected uh, with natural elements. Uh, yeah? Usually there is a giant who comes uh, or there are some elements uh, of nature that influence it. Good. Mm -hmm. Marina, tell about the legend. Legend. Uh Tem is about uh, a real person of the or a place. Mm -hmm. uh, characters, 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 characters. Uh, real and Im imaginary. imaginary. Uh, mm -hmm. We had a certain uh, is anywhere. Mm -hmm. And a special uh, detail is detail? serious exaggeration. Exaggeration. Exaggeration means перебільшення. Uh, uh? So serious exaggeration, серйозне перебільшення. Uh, I mean not humorous. Give me an example of a legend. Mm -hmm. For example, Legenda про Казака Рога. No? Yes. So we have the legend about Kozak Riha. What is this legend about? It's about a real person or a place. Huh? Yeah? So it could be real, we don't know, but it could be real. Yeah? So it, but it may be, or he may be imaginary. The setting is anywhere. In our case, anywhere is Kriveriha. Huh? Yeah? And uh, what are the special details? What is the serious exaggeration about uh, Kriverich as a Cossack? Mm -hmm. What is the difference between the robot and the robot? No, I don't know if що він жив один, сам, тут була прям така стоянка, де він мав свої, да? де він мав станцію, and so on and so forth. Yeah? So give me other legends uh, that uh, are about places or people. For example, No? Mm -hmm. uh, Kishek Kharif, who are the founders uh, of uh, Kyiv. Uh, again, they could have existed or they couldn't. Uh, another example would be Romul and Rem, the, those who were fed by a she-wolf uh, and uh, they were the founders of Rome. Mm -hmm. So that is how legend uh, tells us about people, but very often these people are not real, but imaginary. Okay, yeah. mm -hmm. Anya, tall tale, please. Mm. Uh, the theme of tall tale is about uh, helping the needy. Uh, characters are people with exaggerated skills, time, uh, size or strength. Uh -huh. The setting is uh, anywhere and special details, uh, humorous exaggeration. Uh -huh. Like usually there is a big person who helps everyone uh, yeah, and uh, who escapes uh, from, uh, uh, from the problems. Uh, tall tales are very characteristic of uh, American literature because uh, when Americans were settling the Wild West, uh, when they were settling the continent, uh, there were very uh, difficult situations. So they were retelling tall tales uh, as um, a means uh, of helping each other. Yeah? But usually there is a person who helps uh, and uh, he easily can do lots and lots of things. Окей, okay, yeah, good. Uh, мені, одразу, мені одразу згадуються три богатиря. Абсолютно. Це буде щось таке, ну, вони будуть якісь, як правило, вони будуть навіть з юмором, там. От, але в англійській літературі це ті, ну, особливо американські, та? це ті люди, які от прям там викопали великий каньйон, та? або засадили яблунями пів Америки. Тобто це будуть якісь такі люди, які 
не могли існувати. От. І особливо цей жанр розвинувся в американській літературі. Але не, от вони існували якби в уяві простих людей, яким треба було чим себе підтримувати. Окей, ще, гот. Enter a fable. Наташа. Um, they seem uh, of fable. It is a story with a moral. Uh, the characters are animals that act like humans. Uh, the setting is uh, anywhere or uh, animals' um, uh, biomes. Yeah. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Sorry. sorry. And, special detail, and a special detail is personification. Okay. What do I mean here by animals' biomes? Like uh, the places where animals live. In uh, Ukraine, typical fables will be about uh, a fox and a raven, yeah? so, or about the goats, uh, or about the hens or chi and chicken. Yeah? So usually the animals that we meet here, we won't have many fables about uh, tigers, lions, and so on. Yeah. But uh, if we borrow fables from other cultures, uh, they may be about uh, different animals. Uh, what is personification? Personification. Of, um, uh, of uh, um, human features to animals or other um, uh, phenomena of nature. Yeah, so people uh, are not people, but animals. So animals act like people uh, and uh, they do all characteristics of people. Good. Okay. Yeah. Marin, tell about drama. Uh, <clears throat> drama di divided into genres, comedy and uh, tra tragedy. Comedy and tragedy. Mm -hmm. A uh, comedy uh, characterizes the uh, humorous and funny characters and events. Characters. Characters. Sorry. It's a Greek uh, word. Слово запозичено з грецької. Тому си H читаєм як K. Characters and events. Mm -hmm. uh, tragedy. Tragedy. Mm -hmm. Tragedy characterizes as a human suffering, uh, disasters, and misfortune, misfortunes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, tragedy has... Uh, yeah, that is the most important thing. Tragedy is a dialogue about something, and comedy is a dialogue about something funny. Funny. Yeah? Okay, yeah. next time. Um, uh, poetry is divided into verse and poem. Uh, verses are usually short with few lines, and poems are long, uh, consists of many uh, verses. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, finally, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you remember that in poetry we only talked about the lens. Mm -hmm. And finally, Natalia, non fiction. Mm -hmm. Informational writing uh, explains and teaches, um, for example, cookery books, travel guides, dictionaries, encyclopedias, um, uh, and uh, atlases. Yeah, so uh, yes, we, it informs about something, yeah, then. Persuasive writing. Persuasive writing are advertisements, uh, speeches, uh, business letters. Uh, mm -hmm. Biography is it is uh, writing about uh, someone else's life, mm -hmm. and autobiography it is a life story written by oneself. Yeah, very good. Uh, so now let's look uh, at uh, all the genres uh, uh, all together. And uh, could you please tell me what genres are very close to each other? What genres uh, are very similar to each other? Mm -hmm. or subgenres. They are realistic and historical mm -hmm. fiction. Yeah? They have very much in common. They are science fiction and uh, mm -hmm. fantasy. Yeah? And uh, they are a myth and a legend. 
because uh, very often uh, the myths and the legends, uh, uh, they are mixed. They are difficult to tell one from the other. Okay, thank you. That was very good. Uh, now let's go back to, mm -hmm, to the previous scheme and uh, let's uh, do this tasks. Uh, okay, mm -hmm. uh, come on. Mm. Uh, all literal genres are divided in. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Into. Uh, uh -huh. Main genres. Into. Yeah, let's 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 do this. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, all literary genres are divided uh -huh. into, into five groups. Okay. They uh -huh. are. And continue. Mm -hmm. uh, they are uh, re uh, writing that is true uh, fiction, realistic fiction. Uh, no, uh, no, uh, no. Think, think more. Writing that is always true. It is. Uh, it is always true. And non-fiction. Uh, non-fiction. Yeah? So because uh, fiction is not always true. Yeah? So next. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, imaginative or made up uh, writing. Mm -hmm. it, is, uh, it is a fiction. Good. Huh? Mm -hmm. Then. Uh, stories once passed down orally. It is a uh, folklore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, a play or script. It is drama. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. And the last uh, writing concerned with the beauty of language, it is poetry. Absolutely. Thank you. Good. Mm -hmm. Natalia, next. Nonfiction uh, subgenres tries to influence uh, the reader. It is uh, persuasive writing. Uh -huh. Give me um, the verb. Mm -hmm. uh, Explain to, something to persuade to persuade. Oh, to persuade. Mm -hmm. uh, explains uh, something. It is informational writing. Mm -hmm. Good. Huh? Mm -hmm. For a life story written by uh, oneself, it is autobiography. Mm -hmm. And writing about someone else's life, it is biography. Perfect. Uh, so give me the Latin roots. Uh, water means self, the self uh, by life uh, means life, life. and, and graphy uh, means writing. writing. Good. Uh, Marin, next. Uh, Mm -hmm. His historical uh, set in the past uh, and based on real people and or uh, events, historical uh, fiction. Good, huh? mm -hmm. uh, has alliance robots, uh, futuristic technologies, and uh, or spaceships, fa uh, fantasy, fantasy. Aliens, robots, uh, technology, and science. Uh, science. I'm sorry, science fiction. Very good. Uh, and uh, the abbreviation for science fiction will be sci fi. Yeah? Yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, has no elements of fantasy, could be true, but isn't realistic uh, fi uh, fiction. Perfect. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, has, um, has moments. Um, has monsters, uh, ma uh, monsters, magic, or characters with uh, superpowers. Marin, for it today, your word is uh, character. Uh, characters, magic. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, it is fantasy. Good. Uh, mm -hmm. It is fantasy. Perfect. Uh, and next. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A uh, short story with uh, personified animals and a uh, moral, it is a uh, fable. Good. Huh? Mm -hmm. It has a uh, gods, goddess, and usually accounts for the creation of something, this uh, legend. I mean, yes, huh? because uh, it is accounts for the creation of something, like creation of earth, creation of uh, 
uh, uh -huh, Grand Canyon and so on. Mm -hmm. Uh, main character skill, size, strength, greatly exaggerated. It is a tall tale. Very good. Uh, thank you. Uh -huh. uh, based, uh, based on a real person or place, facts are strength beyond uh, nonfiction, exaggerated in a serious uh, way. Okay. It is. Uh -huh. uh, legend. Uh, very good. Uh -huh. It is a legend, like про Казакарога, да? Або про Ромула Андрема. And uh, has magic and talking animals. Often starts with once upon a time. It is fairy tale. Mm -hmm. It is a fairy tale. Okay. So, thank you so much. Yeah. So, we went through the genres. We discussed what the genres are about. And uh, mm -hmm, I'm really, I'm really satisfied uh, with this class. So enough for, for sharing. I am ending the recording. Mm -hmm.